Lily. Do you like rain? Some people like rain, but some people don't. Assalamualaikum. Our today's lesson is about clouds and rain. Do you know rain is very important in our life? Without rain, there will be no living things on the earth. Rain is the source of water, which is very important for living things. Do you know how does the rain occur? Okay, the movement of water from the surface of the earth to the air forms cloud that eventually falls back as rain. This process is always repeated and known as the natural water cycle. Maksudnya, pergerakan air daripada permukaan bumi ke udara membentuk awan dan akhirnya turun semula ke permukaan bumi sebagai hujan. Proses ini berulang dan dikenali sebagai natural water cycle. The formation of rains is the result of the changes in the states of water. The changes occur when water gains or loses heat. Water in the seas, rivers, lakes, and on land gains heat from the sun and evaporates into water vapor. The water vapor rises into the air. As the water vapor rises, it cools because the air higher up in the sky is colder. Maksudnya, uap air dia bergerak naik ke udara, ke atmosfera. Uap air yang bergerak ke atas disejukkan kerana udara di bahagian atas adalah sangat adalah lebih sejuk. Cooling causes the water vapor to condense and form tiny water droplets which gather together to form clouds. Penyejukan yang berlaku di udara akan menyebabkan water vapor condense dan membentuk water droplets. Water droplets ini akan berkumpul membentuk awan. As more water vapor condenses, the tiny water droplets form bigger droplets and fall onto the earth as rain. Makin banyak water vapor yang terkondens ataupun kondens, water droplets tu akan menjadi lebih besar dan akhirnya berat jatuh ke bumi sebagai hujan. The water that falls as rain goes back to the land, rivers, lakes and seas and evaporates into water vapor again when it gains heat. It happens again and again. And that's why we call it water cycle. Why is the water cycle is very important to us? Yes, the water cycle provides all living things with a continuous supply of water. Without rain, the land will dry up and plants will die. Consequently, animals and humans will die as well. The continuous process of water cycle will ensure the survival of living things and this will lead to preservation of our nature. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. See you in the next lesson.